Oh boy. Hopefully. <laughs> I've not woken up inside a planet. Ooh. Yeah, you can't really see me right now, can you? Look up my nose though. Hey. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Get out of bed. Okay, couldn't get up using Y. Okay, oh, here we go. Ah, there we go. Wow. This is another reason why the Aurora is pretty damn cool. I've just logged back in, floating in space in my ship, because I went to sleep in my bed. Wouldn't advise it. Um, it can be a bit buggy. You might wake up inside a star, uh, which is never fun, or inside a planet. And um, yeah, but this worked. How's it going? <laughs> Welcome back to the verse. Welcome to Star Citizen UEC only series. I think that's the title. Anyway, welcome to the series where we are playing Star Citizen. Ooh, the camera's bugging out. Um, only using UEC. This is my second account, which I only use UEC on. Um, so this is an Aurora. This is my starship on my second account. Right now we have about 27 grand, which isn't much. But I'm also trying to show everyone, if you're new to the game, that there's a lot you can do with just a starter ship. Um, so yeah. That's the idea. Today we're doing something a bit different if I can find a mission. Sometimes they don't appear. I'm really hoping one of the search missions is available. It's another type of mission you can do. Sometimes you will have to collect a box or something which will require you to be able to place it in your ship. Another reason why the Aurora is a brilliant starter ship. Um, the Mustang doesn't have that capability. Am I falling through my ship? I think we're okay. It's cool. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's have a look. So here we go, this is looking good. So when you're looking for these types of missions, you need the search tab to appear normally. And they go lost in space. Um, a freelancer wreck site. You will be tasked with finding and extracting a shipment of tungsten from the last point of contact and delivering it to the intended destination at Everest Harbour. You should know that security is warned of increased outlaw activity in the area. Take the appropriate precautions. Payment will be immediately transferred upon successful completion. There you go. Okay, we'll accept that. And this will then give us a marker. Ooh. Do you know what? Uh, while we're doing that, we'll take the mercenary mission for call to arms because that sounds like we might get some contact. And if you don't know, the... Um, the call to arms basically gives you bonus UEC every time you take out anybody, including NPC um, pilots that have a crime stat. Um, and you'll get a little bonus. So, always worth having. I can't believe I didn't log in on a in the middle of a planet. Right, let's go. Oh. Pow! Here we go. Not too far to go at all. Uh, there's the pickup site. So we will be able to hopefully hit a quantum marker for this. There it is. Again, if you're trying to do this, um, like I only found this out recently, believe it or not, you have to keep your mouse over the target trying to zoom in on. Um, and if you move off, it might do that. So just zoom back out, put your mouse over it, move your mouse again, just move in a little bit of time. Eventually, you'll be able to click it and set the route. Uh, and that's how you do that if you couldn't get that to work. But just quickly, before we jump over there, this is another reason why the Aurora is a great ship um, to start off with. Because we're probably going to, by the sounds of it... Ooh, I'm spinning a little bit here. Ooh. <laughs> we're going to have to pick up um, a package or two. Which means this little passage behind the cockpit... ...will be very handy. And we've already seen why the bed is handy. I, I logged out in space and logged back in in space. Uh, so pretty cool when you're you know in a hurry 
if you don't have time to get back to a station or a city or you know something like that um so yeah an another reason why the aurora is a really good starting ship i've been seriously wondering recently over the last like week or so because um on here and on my main account i've been really enjoying bounty hunting and really although believe it or not this aurora is actually classed as a light fighter um but even though it is a light fighter, I would say the Mustang's probably the better dogfighter, uh, better bounty hunter. Um, although we can and definitely will be upgrading the Aurora to make it better for bounty hunting. Once we've rented a prospect, that is, though. Pow. So, yeah, it... So, yeah, that will work out fine. Um, but, yeah, like I said, with being able to put boxes behind the sea and having the bed, it really does... You know, make the Aurora, in my opinion, that little bit ahead of the Mustang when it comes to the two base ships. There's a lot of other options for starter ships if you didn't know, um, or if you're a veteran of the game, a veteran citizen, then you'll know that and be wondering why I'm mentioning the Aurora. The whole concept of what I'm doing with this series is to demonstrate that you only need to spend the bare minimum on this game. And the Aurora and the Mustang are the two cheapest options. They come with the starter package for $45 plus VAT, which is about $52, $53, I think. Um, at normal prices, it was on sale recently, so you might be able to grab it a little bit cheaper. Um, and after that, you don't need to spend any more money. You can get everything else in-game. You can get all the ships in-game that are available to fly. For the most part, I think there's one or two exceptions still, but... Um, I'd say like 95% of everything that is flyable is in in the verse, if not everything. Um, so yeah, you literally just need your starter pack and your starter ship. That's it. So um, yeah, like I said, this is something a bit different. Just another thing that you can do in the verse. Because the other thing I want to show alongside um, the fact that you only need UEC is all the different things you can do in the game. Um, you know, there's lots of options. And you don't need an expensive ship with real life money to do it, any of it. Um, so, yeah, that is why I'm doing this. And like I mentioned a moment ago, my goal at the moment is to rent a prospector. And uh, make some money mining. And then we can upgrade the Aurora. We can then save up for another ship. And then we've got the option of going mining or going bounty hunting. Whatever takes my fancy. And, um, yeah, I guess the first stop will be to buy a Prospector. I could get a rock and then rent a Cutlass Black to move it, but I actually prefer ship mining to the rock mining. So that's my personal preference. I guess we're going to have to go out and uh, do a little spacewalk, which is another reason why this game is so awesome. And again, I wish I had a multi-tool. I'm sure I had one. I think I've lost it in the recent character reset. But not a problem. We can just open the door. Wait a minute. Has my helmet come off? My helmet's come off. I've got a weird bug. My helmet keeps coming off, which is not ideal. Especially when you're floating around in space. Okay, that's on. Hopefully it stays on. Exit. It better stand because we're going. Pow. And welcome to the beauty of the verse. Woo! We're floating! Whoa! Love it. Okay, let's get this box. Where is it? Oh, that's my ship. There we go. Oh, there's some dead people there. And it did say we could run into trouble, so hopefully someone doesn't turn up right now. Should we have a little nosy in here? Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Can we get in there? Gotta be careful with landing when you're EVA and it can get you killed. Oh, no, we're just floating around, banging around in here. Oh, because of the new physics in the game. This is pretty cool. What's this? Flight flight recorder. Do not open. I can carry that. It's not asking me to get it, but I can carry that. That's interesting. Oh, we're upside down. Let's get out. I'm, I'm a bit worried I might get stuck. 
Whoa! The new physics! Wow, that's pretty cool. You can actually bump around and things make you turn in different directions. That's a massive sheet of metal coming at me. Let's move out of the way of that. <laughs> this is wicked though. I really like this. Can we take his gun? Has he got a gun? Oh, search. Oh, we can search him, but nothing. Ah, oh, well, we can. Can't I take his glasses? Look at them cool glasses. This dude's cool. He's definitely dead, though. It's unfortunate. Sorry about that. So I can't get anything off these guys, but. It's pretty cool that this is a thing. Do you know what I mean? This is. You know. Pretty insane that this is a thing in the game. And again, something a bit different. This is really different. And interesting and fun. Uh, but all we've really got to do here is grab this box. Sometimes you will have to... Um, it might give you the option or the mission to come and get that um, flight recorder in there. Um, and other missions... You know, you might have to go down onto the planet. There'll be a crashed ship on the planet and you'll have to retrieve something. Or maybe you'll have to find bodies. It's a fun concept. I like it. It's um, it's a good idea. And again, this is another thing you can do with the Aurora that you can't really do with a Mustang. Because we can put this package in the passageway. Um, nice and safely and store it, which you can't do with a Mustang. So with a Mustang, it has no way that you can store boxes, at least at the moment. I don't know if they'll ever change that, but right now, um, it has storage capacity, as in for trading, as SCU, which is the storage units in Star Citizen for ships, etc. Um, but it doesn't have a like physical storage area. And technically, neither does the Aurora, but that passageway, again, like I said, you can put boxes in it. So let's grab this. Carry that. Okay, there's the objective complete. And that's nice that we just got to take it to Everest Harbour. That will um, suit me just fine. Oh, I was flying there. No, don't fly there. Where's my ship? <laughs> it was about to EVA all the way to, to uh, Everest Harbour. There's the Aurora. There's the old girl. Again, you got to be kind of careful when trying to get back in your ship when you're EVA'd. EVA'd, is, is that the right expression? Um, I'm not sure, but when you're floating around in your space and you try and get in your ship, it can be a problem, so be careful. So what I'm going to do is try and gently approach. Just get in range so we can... Hmm. Should I try and enter the ship? Let's get a bit closer and use enter the ship. See what it does. Fingers crossed this goes well. Oh, wow. Is that new? Oh, I've got the box in my mouth. Oh, no, that's my armor. Is that new? Like, what the... I just climbed in and landed. Um, it doesn't normally do that. Uh, at least when I've tried to land in the back of like a cargo bay or something like that, you normally have a hard landing. But with this door, it seemed to work like an actual airlock and he just pulled himself in. So we'll just place this down. I'm going to place it, drop it because I don't want it to fall through the ship. And if I place it, I feel like it's a bit safer. Like that, there we go, done. Again, you can't do this with a Mustang. Can't set enough. And obviously, you know, this might not be your cup of tea, but I'm just showing you that this is an option with the Aurora. And it's another thing you can do to make UEC. It's something a bit different. Like, bounty hunting is great fun, but even after a little while, it does become, you know, a bit repetitive. You want to take a break from it, do something else. You might not be into the industrial gameplay, like mining. Um, trading's a little bit rough still with the 30Ks, etc. So something like this can break up your gameplay session. You can take a little break, have a little drink, fly around, go collect some boxes, look at some interesting things like a destroyed freelancer. Sometimes it's a starfarer and you can explore the starfarer. Sometimes there's a crashed um, 
uh, mole, which is the giant, not the mole, sorry. Um, although maybe I think there is a mole, but the caterpillar, the giant caterpillar trading ship, but you can explore to collect things from it. Um, for the same sort of mission as this, again, it'll appear in your contracts as a search mission. So that's enough waffling. We've got that on board. Uh, turn the engine on. And uh, yeah, we're off back to Everest Harbour. And that's pretty cool. Like I said, sometimes they're in space, sometimes they're on a planet. So you just don't know what you're going to get until you get the mission. There we go, back at Everest. Woo! Successful mission, and there was no trouble. Um, I don't know if you can get into trouble with them. It does say that you can find some trouble there. Uh, that seemed to go really smoothly, but yeah, you never know, so it's always good to be cautious. There we go. Woo! Not a bad landing at all. Ooh. Thank you. Hopefully we will. Right. Let's get this package. All right. Okay. Cool. Um, didn't manage to die getting out of the cabs. That's always good. <laughs> oh, squatting down here. Yeah? Uh, and sometimes with these boxes, it's the same with the delivery missions now. Things like this, that sign on it, the metal, and the like, oars, are typically heavy, so you're not going to be able to sprint. You're gonna. This is like as quick as I can go right now. It's uh, apparently heavy. Ooh. I'll see you in there. Right, okay. So, where have we got to hand it in? It's a real long walk with something when we got to walk so slow. I just walked into the uh, security checkpoint there. Oh boy. This is flat out, by the way, guys. This is quick as I can go. How do I even get there? Oh, I know where it'll be. It'll be in the cargo area, won't it? By the way, I love these new um, elevator menus. First time we see them was when they released new Babbage, and um, obviously these are a different variation, but I do love them. They're so much better to use. And obviously we've got the cargo decks now, which is where I'm assuming we've got to hand this in. So if we go in here, you've got the gallery, hangers and hubs, which is where we are. You've got the cargo centre. I think that's where we gotta go. Oh, we made it. Oh, it could be this one. Looks right. Looks pretty cool in here. I like it. Definitely a cargo vibe. <laughs> Also, I noticed recently, NPCs are actually sat down now, which is always good. It's much more immersive uh, if you're worried about that thing. Which, I guess I am. I, I like it. <laughs> Where? Oh, it was right in front of me. I was too busy admiring the fact that people actually sit down now. So, just drop off. So this is what you use for delivery missions as well. And uh, I could show you delivery missions, guys, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and it won't make for anything really very interesting. <laughs> Basically what we're doing here, but with no crash site. And yeah, it's cool for exploring when you're starting in the game. Um, like I said, I think it's... Um, oh, it took too long. Um, it's a good way to get to grips with the verse and learn to fly and explore and see different planets and things like that. But for videos, I'm, I'm sure you don't need to see any more of that. There we go. We got 9k, I think, should be. Yeah, 9,000 UEC. So what are we on now? 
36. You know, we're almost there. We've almost got enough to go and rent a prospector. I think it's um, 46 off the top of my head. That might be wrong. It's somewhere around there, but I want to get a mining head as well. I don't want just a prospector. I want to get the mining head and put a um, better mining head on than the default one. Um, I'm not going to get the Helix for 108,000. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get one of the cheap ones because even the cheap ones are better than the standard one. And it makes a big difference, or it did when I've done this before, so I'm definitely going to be doing that. There we go, guys. Uh, something a bit different, like I said. I didn't want to do a normal delivery mission. It's kind of boring. You guys know what it is. You collect a box, or several boxes. You deliver them to a few different places. You get some money. It's, it's a pretty good money earner, early game when you're starting out. It also um, gives you a chance as a new player to explore a little bit, see some different planets, that kind of thing. It's good for that. Recently, they've, um, wouldn't say buffed bounty hunting, but they have definitely improved it, made it a bit um, more fun. There's a bit more to it. You've got like basically like a reputation type deal with it. And the more you do, the better you get. Oh, that guy's glitching out back there. <laughs> the, more, the more you do... The more bounties you do, the more rep you get, the more money you earn. So it's really good, which kind of makes the Mustang a great option right now. But the Aurora can do bounties. We've already seen that in the first episode. Again, if you haven't seen the other episodes, link in the description below to the playlist, UEC only, where I'm showing you how you only need UEC to play this game with a base, cheap, pack Aurora Mustang. Again, Mustang, pretty good bounty hunting. Aurora can also do it, and as we've seen today, it can also do deliveries we went to wreckage and collected the package today because uh, like i said i didn't want to just do a delivery mission it's kind of boring you get it and this is different it's fun you don't know what you're going to get there's a few different variations of that mission sometimes you're on a planet sometimes you're in space sometimes it's a different ship it's not always the same ship it's good like i said earlier it could be a caterpillar so it's, it's fun going around the caterpillar there's some other unique missions, but again, I wanted to demonstrate why the Aurora is pretty cool. And also, it's got a bed like we see at the start of this video. We're getting really close to getting the Prospector on rental. When we get that, I will go get a mining head for it, just one of the cheaper ones. Uh, we'll install that, we'll do a bit of mining. We'll get some cash together, we'll upgrade the Aurora, we'll do another bounty hunting session with the Aurora upgraded. Then it will be a bit of a grind, guys. I'll be swapping between mining and bounty hunting, you know, for my own sake, to break up the gameplay. And um, trying to get enough money to buy a prospector. Could get a rock and then hire a Cutlass Black to carry it, um, which maybe I'll do. But honestly, I would prefer to do some ship mining with the prospector. It's my preferred thing, so... Um, yeah, when we get to that stage, there's going to probably be a bit of a break in this video series. But what you can do is hit the subscribe button. This isn't a self-promo thing. This is to help with the series. So hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell. It will give you access to my community tab. Um, so when I post a like screenshot, for example, my community post, you'll get a notification and you can see it. Now, what I plan to do is, in this little bit of a break in the series where I go and grind up a load of UEC, is to give you regular updates of what I'm doing in the verse, how much the balance, or how much we've got in the bank. Um, and I can give you a little screenshot of the wallet kind of thing with a little bit of a blog of what I've done and how it's going, that kind of thing. And that way you guys can stay in the loop until the next video once we've got enough to do something with the UEC. I've, uh, at the moment, the goal will be a prospector, but that could change. I might come up with something else I want to do. But yeah, that's the plan. I hope that makes sense. Really hope you're enjoying the series. I've been saving up these videos, so I've got no idea how these are going to do and how they'll be received. I really hope you enjoy them. I enjoy making them. And I hope they're helpful as well as being enjoyable. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to hit that subscribe button, ring the little bell, help the channel out. But also, um, when we get to the part I just mentioned, you can get updates of what the UEC balance looks like, what I'm getting up to, that kind of thing. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you later. I'll see you in the verse. Yeah. Stay safe out there, citizens. Bye.